Hey guys, this is Delio. Today we're going to be talking about why World War II is way better than Modern Warfare. Let's be honest here, guys. Modern Warfare sucks in this current state. You know, I don't want to hate on the game like everyone else is. You know, I want to be objective and, you know, not be like, you know, have my opinion changed by a bunch of people. However, just from my general experience, I haven't been having as much fun on Modern Warfare compared to even Black Ops 4 at the current moment. Yes, I hate Black Ops 4 for the crap that it's done, you know, pretty much reusing every single asset from Black Ops 3, pretty much, with a few remodeled weapons. They're basically, they're just Black Ops 3 weapons, let's be honest. But at the same time, Black Ops 4 felt like a Call of Duty, even with all the changes that it had. You know, of course, things like manual health regeneration, even though my opinion on that has sort of shifted back and forth recently about that. My opinions kind of changed on that, let me be honest. Because I end up using the stim pack in Modern Warfare quite often, because it's, you know, pretty useful, allows you to regenerate faster. However, I still... Still would have liked, you know, manual regeneration in Black Ops 4, you know? It could have just been a flip of a switch and it could have changed it, you know? Kept the stim shots, however, allow for automatic regeneration, however, it's just slow in comparison to, you know, using the stim shot. I think that would be a good balancing point with Black Ops 4. And honestly, I think it would make the game a lot more like Call of Duty. And honestly, I don't think my last Black Ops 4 video is going to be my last Black Ops 4 video, let's be honest. It's kind of clickbait. That's kind of what I was going for. And... Let's say the clickbait kind of failed because the video did really poorly. You know what? Stop. Stop! Stop! Oh my gosh. Plus. Plus. That was the most rolling thing I've ever seen in my life. And this gun is actually freaking garbage. <laughs> It struggles to get a freaking two shot in hardcore. This is just, it's freaking trash. I wonder how bad it would be in core. So let's get to the topic at hand. What is killing Modern Warfare right now for me? Multiple things. First of all, I just think that the game in its general direction right now is not where it should be. Let's let's be honest, guys. It's really not. And the thing is, like, there are so many good things about this game. However, the developers are so incompetent. They don't listen, okay? They don't. And it's really freaking sad because I see the potential. Infinity Ward. You can be doing so many good things with this game. However, you're just not listening. Your vision isn't working, clearly. When you have to start releasing surveys to people who stop playing the game. Because clearly, I, you can tell that their player numbers are decreasing if they go to desperations like that. Like, come on, get your head out of your ass and change the game. It's not that hard. Okay, we got a UAV up. Let's uh, see what we can do here. I'm not going to challenge that. What the- Forgot you can't see kill cams on freaking World War II, but he was like freaking instantly crouching like doo, doo, doo. These iron sights or like sights in general are just freaking trash. Why am I using them? Oh, I need to unlock like red dot or something for him. Probably make it- I love being team killed in hardcore. I wish ricochet was a constant thing. Teammate! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, this guy. Freaking ass- Dives. So many assholes in this game. Oh my gosh. Let's pick up someone's PPSH and let's just go off. I guess not. I'm not gonna go off, guys. You know, it's just unfortunate. Get out of the corner room. <laughs> that was really weird. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a strange human. Thank you. Imagine using a summon in hardcore. Why would you do that? You're putting yourself at a competitive disadvantage. Yeah, we won. That's what, that's what I'm talking about, guys. See, this is what Call of Duty should be. It's fun, not Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare is not fun, it's freaking trash. Hoo 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 that's cute! That's you guys won't understand that unless you work at my work. There's this one guy, he's interesting to say the least. Not trying to be an asshole, it's just funny. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, let's go! Alright, so we unlocked the reflex sight for this gun. What is it called? May it? May it gun? I think it's a boy gun, okay. So let's go back to the topic of modern warfare. Okay, number two is skill-based matchmaking. Apparently there's actually been some, you know, recent discoveries when it comes to skill-based matchmaking. It's actually kind of scummy. It's really scummy, guys. So apparently what's been going on in the background is that Activision, basically the way it works, if you buy like say the battle pass or something or something with COD points, you get put in easier lobbies. However, if you don't buy those, you get put in harder lobbies to entice you to buy them. So apparently that's how it works. Of course, at this point, it's just a rumor, but from testing, at least from like certain people, it seems to be true. Oh, thank God. I didn't even 
kill you. Chill out. What was that guy's name? Don't stoop to levels of the asshole. Okay. Be good. Be nice. Okay. Philosophy with Delio. Should I make a second channel called that? I don't know. Oh, la, 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 la. The third thing I don't like about Modern Warfare is the maps. Let's be honest, guys. <laughs> the maps in Modern Warfare are just freaking garbage. <laughs> Okay, I kind of just lost my temper right there. I'm just insane, okay? My original YouTube channel name, that's exactly who I am. So what are the bad maps in Modern Warfare? We can we can name off a few. Honestly, a few would probably be the majority, but... Um... <laughs> anyway. Basically, the maps I don't like in Modern Warfare... Piccadilly. Piccadilly, guys. Piccadilly. That map is garbage. Honestly, I think it's legit the worst Call of Duty map of all time. Maybe Stonehaven was worse. Actually, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Stonehaven is godly compared to that map. You got Euphrates Bridge. You got St. Petrograd. You got Crash now. Crash is freaking garbage in Modern Warfare. Because they decided to change the map in the sense where they added, you know, new lines of sight and a bunch of freaking doors. Honestly, I think the doors are is kind of one of the reasons why the game is so frustrating, guys. Like, it's unbelievable the amount of doors that they have in the game. How many doors do you need? What is this, freaking door simulator? Let me guys show you this. This is how you open up a door. It only opens one way. However, in Modern Warfare, for some reason, you can open the doors both ways. It's like one of those weird double hinged door things. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. And it's honestly one of the main things that kind of irritate me and, oh my gosh, it's so, <clears throat> oh, we got some shit. What are we gonna do now? We're just gonna just go off. Let's actually use Wanderlust, guys. Wanderlust, best video on my channel, by the way. Best video on my channel. Gosh, I wish that me and my friends would play more games together. It was just, it was just so fantastic back in the day. Things just now, it's really sad. All right, so number four, the reason why Modern Warfare sucks is because Infinity Ward is just incompetent and they don't freaking listen to community feedback. So this has been a really big thing when it comes to the player base that called Duty Modern Warfare. And that's kind of one of the reasons why people are just getting off the game this early. Because Infinity Ward refuses to listen to the community and just wants to make the game what they want it to be. They care about their vision, Kill Mike. Here's the problem with your vision, Infinity Ward. Clearly, it isn't working. Clearly, it isn't, you know, making the player base want to stay. And they're so freaking adamant on keeping the w game the way it is. They're killing their own game without realizing it. And they clearly do realize it, because, you know, they're starting to, you know, like I said, you know, send surveys out to different people, you know. Oh my gosh, that guy got a five, man. <laughs> Weighing on the ground, bro. Oh my gosh, I could've just got a feed. But no, the freaking game screwed me. Ah! Wow, that was really fast. But yeah, guys, like legit, the, they're not listening to the community and they're killing their own game. Like, even with realizing it, if you go to Reddit, it's dead silent, it's radio silent. None of the developers are talking about anything. If you go on Twitter and say something that they don't like, they'll block you. Is this a professional studio or are they a bunch of 12 year olds? Gosh dang, man, I just don't get these developers. Had some good coffee. I don't want coffee. So yeah, the developers are acting like a bunch of pansies, and uh, let's be honest, they're killing their game. I, I, so you guys didn't know Eight Thoughts. He's a guy who I didn't necessarily agree with when it comes to the whole Merc music situation and how he tends to handle things. However, I've gained a lot of respect this year. He, he stopped making videos on Merc, and uh, he's been really, really making some good content, making constructive criticism of Modern Warfare. Eight Thoughts doesn't hate Call of Duty, he just hates how these recent games are just so lackluster and they're so, like, they're not polished. Like, it's true though. Recently, Call of Duty just isn't in the greatest state. It's just been broken every single release. I don't understand how a developer studio can release such a broken game after three years of freaking development, dude. I just, how do they manage to do that? And that's kind of concerning me with Black Ops 5 because they have to completely, you know, develop the game within a two year time span like they used to. They haven't done that in a long time. I have a little bit of faith in Treyarch this year. I do. Black Ops 4 at its core. It's a decent game. I just think they reuse too many things and recycle too much content. It's just, it's true. You know, even my friend Corey can agree with that. However, at its core, Black Ops 4 is pretty fun when it comes to gameplay. I'm not gonna lie about that. But like I said, you know, the reused content kind of just gave me a bad taste in my mouth and it was kind of giving me, you know, preconceptions about the game. You know, I'm not gonna lie about that. I was kind of unfair. However, my point still stands. I just think that Modern Warfare needs to freaking, they need to do something. They need to fire Joe Seacott as well as freaking Ashton. They're single-handedly ruining the game, and they don't freaking care. And what's so annoying at the same time is because they can't freaking publicly address anything. 
you know, they like to keep, you know, behind their freaking little safe place, and, you know, you know, not listen to the community, not address any freaking feedback, not do anything. It's unbelievable. Perfect. Oh my gosh. No. Frick. STG, bro. Oh. This is the crap I freaking miss about Call of Duty. I'm not able to do this as much in freaking Modern Warfare. I have to get like five shitty freaking games and then I have to, you know, somehow miraculously get into a good freaking match. Why is there never a fourth? Merc should freaking bring back Chestnut, bro. If you guys don't remember Chestnut, that was freaking funny, bro. I'm Chestnut. I work at McDonald's. Man. Thank y'all. Chat black going off. I ordered the chicken nugget meal. I don't know. I need to, I need to freaking stop, bro. But all in all, guys, I want Modern Warfare to be a good game. I don't want to see it crash and burn. I want to see the game be better. However, Infinity Ward is being not very good. Not listening to the community. Not listening to the feedback. They need to do something about it. And it's absolutely absurd. If you guys enjoy this video and want to see more videos from me, make sure to drop a like. And I'll see you guys later. Make the ground shake like a <laughs> earthquake. Bye, have a beautiful time.